fight. Spawns right next to light armor and right away getting oh never mind. Yep, he's actually going to lightning gun first just before grabbing the uh Oh The Mega Sean's keeping an eye out on uh, tools here. He the tools actually did put uh Abak very very low here on elf. Oh, great LG on Avex. He did do a number of damage on Trolls as well, but that will be immediately uh, revoked by the Heavy. Two seconds to uh, to Mega here. Oh, nice. It will be Avex to grab it. Ooh, but another rail and he will be dead. Or maybe a punch. No. Another one. No. He just barely got the, uh, the health from the blood pool. And the, uh, the bubble as well. The health bubble. My god. It's at 30 HP right now, Sean. Oh, there we go! <laughs> Not quite an inside out, but that was fascinating to see. Uh, Sean just expected to, uh, to be, to, for instance, to be there. Ooh. Great rockets by Inns. And they will be taking the lead, 5 to 3. 5 seconds until Quad. Nice rocket right outside the TP on Avic. Oh boy, that was almost an inside out on his and Sean will be taking both of them down. I think that was barely the uh, the damage that the inside out does nowadays, but yeah. Oh, oh wow. Sean with the wall and the wall jump. Barely discovering where Inz is. Oh, zoom D machine gun. Very deadly with the other uh, quad damage. Four light champs, nah, three light champs. Doom guy isn't a light champ. In any case, there's like Sean and Avek are very competent playing with Nyx and Slash, which are already two light champs in one team. Oh, but. Oh, well, up tools to gonna be hired. He didn't even have his berserk. I'm just gonna use this melee. Here you go. And he's dead. Avek is confident enough to take the uh, the mega, but it won't be actually uh, taken by Sean. Avek will be dead to choose his barrage of bullets. Oh, the score is pretty much tied. Oh, there it is, the punch. 27 HP, 52 after that bubble. Just keep an eye on the the rail as well as rocket. Avic barely heard the uh, rocket being picked up. Sorry, tools barely heard the uh, the rocket being picked up by Avic and gets railed by uh, by Inz as well. Whoa, what a rocket by Inz and a rail to follow it up or a kill. <laughs> now that is what you call a cowboy kill. Oh, he's putting Shron super low. I think he barely used his cold swag. Nope, no, he did not. He got out of that, like, uh, his ability unscathed. Now he used it. Oh, and Inz has no idea where Shron just went. He's up just firing a rocket up. Is his legs. Where? Oh boy. Oh wow, what a take on the power up is. We'll be taking it and killing both Shron and Avic. The Avic right there, right next to the rocket, has no idea where where Inz went. And look, right when he's not looking, he's using a ghost walk. Hey, um, 17 to 11. Limits of that rail. He's actually out of rails right now. It's just better off using rockets or LT. Even his machine gun does not even hit any of those rockets. Ooh. Oh, and Avic does manage to get out of that fight with barely just 11 stack. Grabbing those health bubbles. I think they, yeah, were spawned there just barely for him. Doom, yeah, Doom is a medium champ. Satory. Oh boy. Get rocket by Avic there. Oh, sorry, Jules there, right on, outside the TP. Will follow up into LG, but the nails by his will be finishing him off in that range. That's impressive. Oh no. He 
I was I had it in mind that Inz would have actually stopped his movement there and inside out Sean right when he had the chance as the Oh He might have had enough uh, damage for that since the inside out does 125 damage and Inz was just barely on that stack. Oh sorry, Sean was barely on that stack. Fifteen seconds to quad. The frag count is just pretty much tied. Avek and Shrawn have made their way back up. And have now taken the lead, in fact. And Quad will be barely spawned for Shrawn. Oh. Avek had no idea, naturally. And it was just walking right through him. Avek will be getting the, the Mega, though. doing anything here. It's just plain passive. They have a five frag lead. Oh, there we go. This is finally challenging him. Drop nail fight. Havik decides to instead use the rockets. Oh, now eight frags in the lead. They, they quickly just... Like, Inns and Jewels are now in a big halt right now. I don't know. Uh, 19 frags. They had 19 frags for a while. Even like 19 to 12 or 19 to 13. But now it's just 19 to 28. They've got 15 frags in the process. Wow. There we go. I know they finally are at 20, but Sean keeps on growing the lead after fracking tools. Ooh, but getting real by Avic at the same time. Right after that. There. We grab the Mega. Great reel. Right next to the machine gun. Ooh, and that's a pain tool. Here's the jump pad, but your rocket spam by Inns as well. They're both going low. 16 HP on Shrawn, but a little more on well, not, uh, not Havik. Uh, Shrawn. Uh, Inns. Oh, and he's barely faster with the rail. And he did have higher stacks, so he would have actually not died. To, uh, to one rail only. 10 seconds to protection. Is will be sure enough to uh, to be ready there. He does not doesn't have any more ghost walk. Good damage on Avic though, and a good LG finish right on him. Tools will be getting it. This is very crucial. They just need to tie this up. Since they just have the power up, they have to make good use for it. Is sure enough does even if he has no power up at all. But he's oh he's left with one HP after that rocket bite from. Lucky bastard, to say the least. If it was any closer to that splash area, it would have been dead. <laughs> and he's still alive. He's still battling this through. Even against that LG by Sean, since the real is much faster dealing damage. Immediately. Oh. This took a sweet time to actually track down uh, Avak there is a slash. Can be very hard to track, especially when crouch sliding. 24 HP and 50 armor just to top that off, but the armor does not much matter if you're low on health. Even if you are that low on health. Damn. Ooh, cool. Get rocket right on the TP exit, but a couple good rockets by Jules as well. Damn. He knew he'd use that himself. Deja vu, eh? This time the other way around. Just have the uh, the Berserk and we'll be using it. I don't know if he actually hit that. In any case, he will be going down to Shrawn, who is low on health. He might have actually caught that punch. 30 seconds to quad. Get rail on his right on the rocket. He's trying to assist his teammate here to kill Jules as well. Oh, nice wall jump. Just in the middle of the combat. Oh, and he could have some. Oh, no! No, I think he actually thought that Tron would actually drop down there, but there we are. Oh, he just would drop down there. But indeed, there we are. 36 to 30, 32. It, the, the lead is just growing. Uh, well, like going, going lower, to say the least. Yeah, so it was just 10 for a while, now it's only 5. Tron will be taking the Mega. That's uh, our quad. And growing the lead back up again, 39 to 32. Oh, ghost walk used by Inns. 
So it is by Shron. There's no idea though where uh, where Shron. Uh, sorry, is wind. Ah, there it is. I guess very nicely placed rocket with quad damage. Does the job. We'll be grabbing the mega zero LG ammo, but he sure is gonna rely on the uh, the nail guns. Even though he actually does have the rocket. Whoa. Couple nice wall jump by wall jumps by both players, but certainly would really matter with Shrons. Now in fact difference, 41 to 32. Shron, you should really be out of there. You do have reels, but you don't have any more uh, stack than that. To make it up for you if you want it. Oh, never mind. Your teammate will be pricking it. I don't know what happened there between other controls, but a long, long fight, I guess. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> the rocket by Inns will not be enough, and Shrom will be grabbing a health bubble at least. I assume Chulsh has no rail here, which is very bad for Doom Guy. Could have already done that. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I cannot help but to admire Shrom's rails right here, especially those flicks. We'll be picking up the Mega. Oof. Let me see the rails, though. Uh oh, no! Oh, he knew what was going on, just barely. Took a step back, but so did Inns. There we go, 45 to 35. Avik does get the, the projection, but with such low health, he does barely get Truth down. Ooh. We got 47 to 35. I can already tell if this could be it, especially when they're just running them through like that. Oh, there we go. 49 to 35. I can't see how they would be, like, completely stalled, but... Um... Instant, instant tools. Oh, 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 they still have a chance here, though. I mean, they still have, like, well, basically under three minutes. But so many frags to, to do here. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho, ho. Make that 11 frag difference. Nice rocket into real. Oh. You don't want to be, of course, a person like that. Oh no, tools is super low, and there it is. First map won by Sean and Avic, who right off the bat suicides out of the map in the warm up, but starts off from the real. And with his team in, yep, he's gonna secure it heavy here. He's gonna make a deal that he grabs it. Yep. Just to even the uh, the odds with the armor for their team. This is he already grabbed the other uh, light armor. Wait, did he actually? Yeah, yes, he did. Grab the uh, the heavy. Here we go, Strog in action. <coughs> Just when I play the Strog theme by Marky Music, Strong will be actually uh, picking Strog here. Nice rails by both Inns and Tools. The turret or the uh, the drone didn't do much damage on them. We have to be. Oh boy! Probably have to remind that uh, Strong does not have the uh, the crouch light ability just yet. It will be in PTS, and it will be in uh, the live version in fifth of September, most likely, since that's when the, uh, the season will end. Uh, the season in the battle pass. <coughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, we'll certainly need a, another beverage here just to. Uh, Keep my voice intact for this. I mean, it has already been one hell of a tournament. 7-2 in the lead while well, I was talking about that. And Shrog will be... This is actually a very good uh, advantage for him. Since Shrog has the passive, the destroying self passive. Whenever he kills an opponent, he can grab two, uh, 25 HP from him. From the corpse. Destroying self as it is. But 8-3 already and Quad is spawned. But oh! Both are on the map. Or Avic isn't, but Inns is. Without even... Uh, <clears throat> getting damaged by somebody, so it would, would actually be a ring out, but Avic picking up heavy, uh, sorry, uh, quad and mega here. Maybe it will be up as well for, uh, oh, for tools, but that is no match for a quad damage trail gun. Oh, <laughs> now this is what I want to see. Super fast-paced action with slash and quad damage and the rails in the meantime. 
uh, five seconds to it mega here your block is on tools but he caught some damage himself especially after those by ins oh when there it is he does get both of them down 11 to 8 frags oh what a rocket right outside the tp avik just barely jumping for it it's like hey i'll catch that ends up getting a whole lot of damage right on his face Tron, surprising ins barely from behind i guess <clears throat> oh. Good turret. Oh, sorry. Good drone. Keep calling it the turret. Oh, this was almost outside of the map, and they're both fragged by Shron. Very good rockets by him. I thought that was uh, gonna be like uh, the the drone was gonna be kamikaze, but I guess not. <clears throat> Our controls do a trade. It's a frag for both teams. Now they're just a little closer to the. Uh, the end a little, yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Good damage by Inns, but also very good damage and a kill by Avic. That speed by Slash is just hard to track down. And whether or not you use projectile weapons or hit scan weapons, of course it's even harder with projectile weapons, and that's the, uh, the worst mistake Inns could do. Do that with projectiles. The only thing you can basically do with the rocket launcher against the Slash is. The, uh, the splash damage, but now Avic does get the uh, the protection, and indeed both kills. Oh, Tool! Uh, sorry, Shron is out of the map by Tools, pushed by maybe LG or Rail. In any case, Tools. Oh no, he has no idea what's going on here. Both ends are just swooping up with enemies. The two enemies they're actually facing here, and no more. But it still was enough for him, and it is a. Ring out, nonetheless. Nineteen to seventeen, though they quickly took the lead. It's a two frag difference, but still they quickly got the lead from uh, Jules and Inns here, who kept it up for like even three minutes and three seconds to heavy. Oh, and will will be grabbed by uh, by Inns. Twenty-three HP on Avic. Mega won't be spawning very soon here. Oh, good thing you didn't die to your uh, your own rockets. The turret sure enough got old. <laughs> okay, it's, it's technically a trade. Uh, Avenged his friend. Uh, Tron will be grabbing the uh, the Mega here, but getting railed by Jules in the meantime. He's actually gonna go for the chase. And Jules has no idea. There we go. Avic will be finishing it up. Oh, but Inns will be taking both of them down with a rail. Ah, oh, some super good LG. Lead lost. Incoming quad. Stop quad. It's a frag difference right now, and quad will be spawning in 10 seconds. And this does have the the stack for the quad, but I'm not sure if... Yep, tools is... Oh, never mind. Finally, they decided to uh, to get that... G give that to the end since he actually had the stack for it, but Heavy will be picked up by, uh, by Avic. Oh, no, he's not going to be right behind the ins, but... Ooh, that's a lot of LG damage. But ins does get uh, Shrawn in the meantime. With one rocket. It was a very good rocket on ins as well. It's only at 50 HP. We had 100 thanks to those bubbles. Get that rocket on the turret. 27 to 25, and oh my god, that rocket. And with the angle of it. I mean, Inns was just deciding to stay there for a while. Yep, sure, fine. Whatever. 28 to 26, and the uh, the drone by his drone is just basically unused, and he's getting sandwiched by both LTs, and so is Avic. <sighs> and again, here comes the pink stroke, though. Surprise right around the corner. 88 stack is barely reliable and Inns just happens to have that weapon. But he's instead gonna spam a whole lot of rockets there instead of switching to the rail. Not even hitting any of them directly. Even if he did have the heavy, of course. Three seconds to Mega. We'll be taking the turret down first. Don't want any more uh, 
random factors here in the uh, the gameplay. Mostly negative factors, that is. Oh, that was gonna be some good drone, but ended up being turning a little too early and crashing into a wall. Great LG and great reel to finish it up by Avic. Woohoohoohoo! Even better rocket right there at San TP, and he survived with 2 HP. That's what I call a moment for a ring out. Your team has the Very good timing with it as well. So 32 and 31. They have taken the lead now. Teams are tied. Oh. They've lost. Never mind. Team has the protection. Just with two simple frags, the whole uh, team swipe. They just take the lead back. But it, it's already looking very, very goddamn uh, intense. I mean. They are just growing their lead by a bunch sometimes, like right here, by three frags, but Abak and Shron do manage to get a very nice advantage on some situations. Especially right here, where they just get the Mega. We'll be able, yes, it will be able to tie it up. And Heavy is up, I think, yep, Shron barely noticed that. We'll be grabbing it. Nope. Damn, the strong. He's just like, I don't know why, but Sean just does not want to use that drone. Only on very special situations where he just does not want to. He was very confident of not damaging himself or not getting damaged by the enemies from behind. So, yeah, of course, you don't want to leave your strong behind. I can barely understand that. Oh no, he underestimated the doorway. That's. That is a very. Unexpected place it could crash in, but yeah, the drone is just that big. Sean just making sure the enemies are not getting the lot armors and he's damaging, he's damaging himself just to uh, get him for himself. There we go, and the mega is his. Rocket and LG to finish him off. Incoming quad. 40 to 37, and quad is incoming in 12 seconds. My god, those nails on tools. And the real finisher. Five seconds. Until quad. All right, when he does spawn, draws will be over it. And 4 HP is left on his uh, health counter. Wow, there we go. Oh, but Inz is coming to save the day. Right before Obex Fast Slash can actually get the, uh, the Mega and the quad at the same time. It wasn't even fast there. The, the weakness of Slash is... That you constantly do not want to be in the air. If you are, you've got the least control, maybe. If you're on the ground, you're just crouch landing, of course. Another Mega coming up. Is knows the timer for it. Sean is trying to commit to that fight. Oh, it's a little laggy for me. I don't know if it was the server or not. Great LG to chase down Sean. Yeah, that's sometimes confusing seeing Inz just use the visor and instead his teammate is now blue instead of red, I mean. Sometimes confusing. I'm like, why is he not shooting it? It's my brain's already telling, telling. Like, it's like, why is he not shooting the blue player? In any case, Inz will be taking the Mega. It's getting very close here. 45 to 43. And they are gonna keep it. Make it to a tie, maybe. 30 seconds to uh, protection. It will be very crucial here. It will be the uh, the game finishing. Uh, power up. Very good reel. Right when Shron exits the rear, rear rule, but gets some uh, damage on himself as well. He's not relevant anymore. Oh, actually he is. He didn't have enough armor. I overlooked at that. 47 to 44. And protection in five seconds. Abacus, they're very weak to grab that, and Jules will be getting the rocket kill, but Jules has five HP after that. There we go, Shron to take it. One more frag for Shron and Abek. Will it be this one? In super low. Abek's rail is barely missed, and there it is. Shron and Abek are taking it away, and that will be it.